Welcome back to Captain's Draft 3.0, presented by Dota Cinema and Moondock TV. My name is Sunset, joined by Purge and Pimp Munkle on production slash observing. This is game two of a best of three series evil between Jesus Mama's Boys and Evil Geniuses. Back. Evil Geniuses took game one pretty convincingly. Of course, they are in group foe. Very important to note, Purge. Or are we going to see a Ricky this game? I think it's possible, maybe. Oh. Who's, who's, the one, who's the one team that was talking about Ricky? Uh, I think it was Crit said he really wants to be in captain's mode. Unfortunately, he's not in this tournament, so we won't be seeing them pick it. He was also on top 10 of the Dota buff for Ricky, I noticed. So it oh, seems really? like Crit's been playing a lot of Ricky. So but he's support Ricky? Sport. I, that's the that's the issue though. I don't think that support Ricky. Like if you're gonna roam with Ricky, you should be playing Bounty Hunter basically. So I just don't see Ricky being a pick for for um for Crit unless he's playing off lane or something. Maybe dual off lane is a way to make it work. But you were casting the only Ricky game. Who yeah. played it? I don't remember. It was um complexity. Um yeah, it was complexity and it was uh, Z Freak. Z -freak. Yeah. It worked out pretty well. Um, they basically played him as like a core role. Their lane setup was really weird. It wasn't like a support, it was like a core Ricky. And I think the hero's okay, but there's generally just a lot of other better heroes. Right. All it's right. not as bad as I thought he was, but he's a little bad, I would say. Just a little. All right, my wish list for this game I'm going to stick with the Terra Blade. Also, Ricky. Okay. And number three, I'm going to go with. Hmm. Well, there's definitely not going to be a Terra Blade on Mama's Boys now, that's for sure. I'll say Wraith King. All right, go ahead. You're three. That you oh, want I think, to see. I think great thing. Oh, that I want to see. Um, Chaos Knight, even though it's not going to happen. Uh, Ricky, even though it's not going to happen. Pugna, possible. All right. Those are my three. Ah, Pugna's good. Yeah, I like Pugna. I can. No, I've actually been that. enjoying Pugna and pubs a lot lately. You just go Ag Zaether Lens and you're really strong. Like, And then you get Veil afterwards or maybe another item. And then all of a sudden your life drain is just overpowered. Is this a core Pugna or...? Yeah, you have to play core Pugna, I think. Um, I mean, you, I guess you could do a support, but and I think the best build is actually 4 4 one Because then your Decrep lasts for 3.5 seconds and the cooldown 6. So if there's ever like a melee carry like Great King, you just like permanently Decrep him, more or less, yeah. and then do tons of damage. It's really good. All right, well, Mama's Boy's going to start off with Silencer, get the Shadow Shaman, got some push action already going. EG, of course, with the oh, Queen man. of Pain, that's going to be some mail. There's only two interiors left. What do they do? Got to get that Pugna, son. Oh, it could be... Okay. I was a little crazy. They could go carry Queen of Pain or even offlink Queen of Pain and then Sumail Storm Spirit. That's what I want to see. I changed all Against my answers. Against a Silencer and a Shadow Shaman? Are you yes. stupid? No, dude. BKB, Manta, a form, you're good to go. <laughs> oh, wow, it's so right. Why don't you throw an Octarine to lower the cooldown of BKB and Manta? Dude, that, that sounds would really be great. Good. What a great build. Yeah, I'm not, okay, when I say stuff like that, I'm not saying it's good. It's what I want to see. That's the whole point of Captain's Draft, what you want to see. I, I also like, want to see Centaur, but he's not in this game. Okay, I would like first? to see every hero rushing into Rapier and just see what happens. That would actually be funny. That would be an interesting game in Dota. Remember the Clinks days where you... Uh, Somebody farms it up for you and just put it on uh, clips? I didn't, I didn't play then, sorry. Oh, really? Sorry. You used to be able to just pass yeah. items over, no problem. Those were the days when Dota was Terrible. really imbalanced. Yeah. Sand King, Mirana, good picks here. Um, great setup. They can do a dual lane setup with that. They can do a roaming Mirana. They can do a core Mirana. Um, I think she's not the best core, but she's okay at it. There's definitely better heroes for it. But I, I like Sand King. I think he's in a pretty good place. He has pretty dynamic items that you can buy. He's really good for setting up kills, obviously. Perch. You know who's really good for Mama's Boys? Legion Commander. Although Legion they haven't picked King. it yet, it's Evil Pugna. Turn to pick. Um, Not even kidding. Pugna is amazing against Sankey yeah, and good against really Queen good of Pain. Sankey. Like Sankey, it destroy. He cannot do epicenter blink combo at all. He has the nether ward yeah. down. Unless he gets an eggs or an Aetherlands, then he can. Kind of. Well, I mean, at that point, like it's, it's GG, actually right? it's actually a counter to the the nether ward build actually. Because then your burrow strike range is so far, it doesn't matter that your blink range is. Yeah, that's true. Or blink is kind of... uh, Morphling's Ooh, a pick, though. Very axe. interesting. Very burst heavy oh! on EG. And they're one of the few teams that does run Axe occasionally. Um, and I remember a game where they ran it and they played it really well. Universe plays a great Axe. And late game, it just fell off. And it was like, damn, Axe is awful, super, super late game. But the, he played so well leading up to that point that I was like, man, they did everything they could with this hero. They just couldn't make it work. So maybe it'll work like that. I believe Battlecry does go through duel. I might be wrong on that. But I feel like it happened to me in a pub the other day. And I saved Denali because of it. Um, Axe oh, is... Yeah. 
pretty good against Sven, hypothetically. Um, if he's only dealing damage directly to you, that plus armor that you get from Battlecry can work. So I feel like Axe is kind of okay this game. but And they also have a lot of general nukes and stuns, which are also good against melee heroes. If you can kite them, you're in a good spot. And they don't they have a lot of heroes that are kind of hard to lock down on EG. So if they can just spread out a little bit and throw the nukes on Sven, they might win fights. All right, Mama's Boys with the last pick. What could it possibly be? Sven in all likelihood core, Legion Commander as well. Probably the other two support. So what is their last core? Some sort of a mid. What do you think of Clinks? Like, I don't like Orchid anymore, but it's actually really good against Morphling, especially this, obviously, this game. It's pretty good against Morphling, but I feel, I feel like, it's like such EG a can bad punish him days, so though. easy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the Dustle build is by far more common, but there's definitely a lot of heroes on EG that would get punished by an Orchid. Oh, right, yeah! It's going to be the Pugna. Yes! I, good I think call, Purge. Thank you. I, th I think Pugna is it was just absolutely, like you said, it's very good against Sand King. It's good against Quap. Pretty darn good against Morphling too. If he's Morphine, he's going to take a lot of damage from that. In some ways, it'll counteract the HP that he gains. How much um, damage does he take from X2. that? What mana cost of um, Morph is like twenty-five. Remember the mana per second that it shifts. We, we'll take a look when we get. You guys it's will see it. It's, it zaps to... him like every quarter of a second. It's yeah, pretty hilarious it's, to watch. It's a lot more smooth in its rotation. But I think Pugna is a pretty good pick here. It's going to be a support Pugna. Um, he'll probably max out Blast and Netherward. I remember Cloud9 used to play support Pugna a little bit. They played with it around TI5, maybe TI4. And it seemed okay. It wasn't amazing. Um, it was sometimes kind of good. Ten I wouldn't say remaining. it's good this game, though. There's so much magic damage coming in from EG that the, the decrep for allies isn't going to be amazing. It might help them chase down their opponents a bit more, but it also doesn't synergize very well with Legion Commander. Well, that's the, the kind Nether of the... I feel like LC is the kind of the, I don't know, looks the weirdest in this lineup right now. It's kind of the sore thumb sticking out. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to use Decrep to amp your damage. You can still use Nether Ward and you can still well, not drain yeah. enemies. And I mean, it's not just for that, though. It's like they have this pseudo push lineup and then they have Legion Commander, who's like not a. I mean, you can push lanes, I guess, with uh, overwhelming and odds. I, I kind of like it. It's good at ganking a lot of the evasive heroes that EG has. Oh, they double sentry bottom. Big mistake from Soxer here. Mm hmm. Mm -mm -mm. He probably tried to sentry, double tap it, and place the observer and he misclicked. So lost both sense. So it will be a mid silencer, Weeha, the 8.3k MMR. They will find Artizi. Oh, Team he State. doesn't have waveform, he's in trouble. Oh, oh Artizi, gonna morph to strength. And they're gonna see morph, now they know he doesn't have waveform. How much damage can they actually do? Pycat's not close enough for a storm hammer, but will it matter? Yapsor, well, shackle one. in one he's second. Sober. Yeah, he's dead. He's done for. Artizi was not watching the map, that's the only way. He was that too happens. busy looking at his profile, like, oh, the 8k MMR is so yeah. sweet. I was either reading Twitch chat or alt tabbed <laughs> or. There's no way. I mean, it happens a lot, actually. Back when we were on Zephyr, the same thing would happen. People don't necessarily pay attention during the draft. They come into the game, they right click on the lane, they finish whatever they're doing in a web browser, and they tab the back in. Oh, there's a team. You know, that's, that shit happens. Yeah. Especially that's called undisciplined play. People you know? do not give a shit about winning this, so there's no way they're actually <laughs> trying fully hard. Uh, for EG, that's definitely true. <laughs> oh, it's a very early it's smoke for from Jesus, though. He's on the middle EG. Day. So Fear has the Burrow Strike ready to go. PPD in all likelihood will go uh, Sacred Arrow. And they're going to go it's for Weeha right off the try. bat. Oh, they could get the Courier too. Which one's more important? Fear. He's going to go for both. the hit stun. <laughs> yeah, right. no, I think that's fine. Burrow Strike in oh, the Arrow, the right clicks. Oh my god, they're going to get both! Oh, huge blunder from Weeha. Uses the... Oh, he's gonna oh! live! I don't know, he still has All to right. run back to base, though. He traded Courier for that, basically. Because the Courier brought him the salve that kept him alive. I think that's why he brought the salve. It was a little greedy. I, I like Fear's play. Creeps, I, by the I way. think Fear absolutely made the right play. Going for the hit and then Burrow Strike. Because that way, right. any ranged attack is gonna kill it. Right. So that was a nice play there. But that's... that's You know, Mama's Boy actually has two kills here. But they got the Courier, and that's absolutely gonna make up for all of it. That's yeah, 175 like... gold to every hero. Kind of understated when you force somebody back to fountain, he has to walk back. That's yeah. might be better in some cases than dying, honestly. Yeah. Queen of Especially considering it's three. not first blood because they they are mama's boys already had first blood. Yeah, really good point. Queen of Pain's almost level three. Weeha's just level one now, she can trade more effectively. And he's not gonna have a courier snow bottle later. Like, this is it's a big advantage going to EG. That courier snipe absolutely made the whole thing worth it. How does Axe match up against Legion Commander? This is a very interesting matchup. Well, uh, I think it's pretty good for Axe because he doesn't necessarily have to hit the Legion Commander. He can just like right, he can like right click her to aggro creeps and stand next to her. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's way scarier for Legion. Her armor's quite low. 
Oh, mid lane, so, we have another gank attempt onto Weeha. 8.3k will not get you out of this one, good sir. Sumail taking quite a bit of damage, but will live through the day. EP support. Who is that? That is the Shadow Shaman. All right, just leeching some XP, I suppose. It's a little interesting that they're pressuring mid so hard. I mean, they could gank top as well on the Legion Commander, but I guess Silencer is just so easy to gank, right? Like, if you burst strike him and air him, he's already pretty much half dead just because you're going to get right clicks during that. Yeah, I think the it's one just lane the easiest lane. The one lane they're not going to win is this bottom lane. RTZ level no. two. Basically, it's almost like the off lane. Has zero creep kills, zero denies, and as I say that, gets his first one. That's two minutes and 20 seconds into the game. Not a good start for him. Definitely sucks. Um, definitely criticize this because if, if you're dual roaming supports, you're always going to get underleveled. Even if you do get a lot of pressure out of it, at some stage you have underleveled supports. And now they're going to get underleveled carry and an underfarmed carry. So is this really going to be worth it for EG to, to play the game like this? Oh, yeah, so with an invis rune. He's just going to leech the XP. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. RTZ forced back into jungle. He's level two and a half now. But Soxka, Shots, Soxka, how do you actually say that? Is it just Soxka? I don't think that's the right way to pronounce it. What? Look at the letters. S -A -K -S -A. No, no, I know what the letters show. I don't think that's the right way to pronounce it, though. I don't, know more than me. I don't even know what country Silence. this guy's from. How am I supposed to know how to pronounce it? <laughs> Silencer goes down yet again. Not a good start for Weeha at all. Fear, Sandstorm's up, and there's no vision. Counteract the Sandstorm. Soxka, right? You're thinking of a different player. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. So there's Wait, how do, you, how do you spell? No, no. How do you spell Sashka? How do you spell it? It was like it was like sock and then like S H K A or something. It was like Sashka or something. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Well, but that's a French is, player. Like, this is a different guy. No, no. The re the reason I get mixed up is because the names are so close. I just Punk Twister. No. I guess it sucks. Soxa. Oh, RTZ initiate on yet again. Waveforms out. Still pretty healthy overall. PPD's yeah. just right clicking. PPD's yeah, the same level as RTZ. That is not a usual sight to see. But he has been jungling a little bit. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you can one shot a neutral with uh, 100 mana, pretty straightforward there. Uh, Weehan, in the meantime, he's going. He's a zero, zero one two build. So we're not going to be seeing arcane curse anytime soon. I don't think. You don't do that in the mid lane. I think it's just not worth it. Oh, like, we saw yeah, that the first beeps, game though but... today, right? Uh, that was the support sensor, wasn't it? Was it a dual lane? Okay. TZ getting pressured so much in this lane. He has five creep kills at the four and a half minute mark. But top lane is a real interesting story. Legion Commander, 22 creep kills to the 24 of Axe. Very even overall, although obviously with the counter helix, Axe is able to dish out a little bit more damage to Legion Commander at this point. But the question is, what does Legion Commander do? Because she doesn't have much gank potential without a blink dagger. While Axe could technically yeah. TP in with Battle Hunger giving a little bit of extra attack speed. What are you, what are you saying, well, are you saying like, that Leech is going to contribute more early or something? No, that's, that's always the issue with Legion Commander mid lane. In the meantime, Burrow Strike into a Shadow Strike. Again, signs are dead. My god. They're just yeah. picking on poor Weeha. This, this is the nice thing about how much pressure they put on. Now, at this stage, they can just use a single hero to get the gank off because they use two to give Sumail this massive uh, advantage here. Mm -hmm. So now he just goes, he ganks mid, then he stacks. And he ganks mid, then he stacks. And now he's level three, he can start jungling. So this is going to completely pay off here for EG. Okay, so level two sand, cool so I'm looking though, good. Let's be real. The sanking set, dude. Yeah, I need to send him our sanking for sure. No doubt about it. Universe is probably just going to cut these waves, looking to find the Legion Commander. He's going to have some support from RTZ. <laughs> support <laughs> RTZ, Mark Oh boy, TP support coming in though. Yapsor has the Shackle available. It's off the Ether Shock first. Berserker's Call being faked out. A little bit of damage. The gank is here, watch out. Is this actually real? RTZ getting Shackle <laughs> Don't know if they'll be able to find a kill because RTZ just has literally nothing right now. I mean, he knows he's getting nothing from his lane. He's like completely gimped here. Like, Morphling is not the solo, like, uh, farm hero. You know so. what's funny is he could, uh, he could transition to support Morphling and just get a ridiculous stun from Adaptive Strike like Sasuke. Aye, aye, aye. This mid lane is a disaster for Mama's boys. I, I don't really blame him though. Like, it's very hard to to predict that level in Smoke Ink. It doesn't come very often. There's the dive. We have so Oh, we have. You gotta strike is the Burrow tonight, Strike then. in range? Indeed it is. Into a Sonic Wave and Arrow to finish him off. The Fairy Fire will not save you. And even the Disjoint just to add insult to injury. So Mail, good to go. Pycat forced to TP to mid lane. He's gonna get nothing out of it. Well, he has He's a Mango. He's got a Mango, I guess. 
You're just gonna have uh, sandstorm though. You can sandstorm this. It's so easy. It's just not worth it for Pycat to try. Aye, aye. Can't stop these ganks. Like they just don't have the heroes. If they had like a dazzle or a shadow demon or something, they can maybe keep their mid hero alive. But it's it, we're playing captain's draft, baby. Baby. All right, the big silver lining here for Mama's Boys is that Artizi still has not been level four. I don't mean to laugh. It's just it's not often you see Artizi struggle this yeah. much. But the, again, it's the tactical decision for EG. Rather than do a tri lane, you know that's probably why they didn't bother covering him. They said, all right, if we if oh. we do Morphling, Sanking. Oh, Alright, PPD done if, for. If they do Sanking, Morphling, uh, Mirana, can, are they really going to outlane a Pogna, Sven, and Shadow Shaman? And the reality is they probably won't actually. So rather than take a tri lane where they might lose the tri lane setup, they instead just pressure the hell out of mid and guaranteed Sumail is a really good time. And Legion Commander gets that first duel up. That's 10 extra damage for him or her. Depending on your perspective, I still consider him a mustached man on a horse, but that's just me, Universe. Gonna be spotted by Pugna, but nothing will come of it. Pugna level four right now. At what level do you start to just try to push down towers? Level four nether nether blast? Um, or whenever you can. That isn't really something we're gonna see this game, because it's support, man. Like he doesn't have that much to do, as far as I'm concerned. It's hard to get up levels for him. I, I just don't know if I like the support Pugna. I'm not a huge fan of this. I've I think never it's been just a gonna fan. <laughs> it's just gonna start feeding later. Like the, the ganks and the chain stones on EG are a little bit too high. I just don't think this is the pick this game. Like Nether Ward's gonna be good and all and he can kinda jungle here, but it's he's gonna run on mana soon and then he's not gonna get it back unless he goes back to heal. I mean look at his inventory. That is the saddest sight that has ever been seen. His mid lane. Oh god, are we have another gank attempt. Weeha gets off the ult, but Artizi is already morphed to strength, so he should be okay. Sumail, though, getting shackled up. Do they have enough damage to actually take him out before the blink? And that is a big fat no. That was Global really silence. I mean, it prevented the death, so definitely needed. Uh, I don't know if that mattered for, for death reasons, but it definitely let them get the setup on the, the Queen of Pain. But back to Pugna, this one of the more level dependent heroes in the game for sure and that's why i've never liked him as support personally just doesn't seem um, very effective overall he's very level dependent up until like level 10 i would say and after that the extra levels aren't that big of a deal but he definitely needs to hit six um the six will help out a little bit in damage but he's just not going to synergize this game like i guess he can life drain whoever's getting dueled and stuff like that or they can do a blast follow up on Stormhammer, but even that is going to be a bit iffy i just don't see the pugna being useful this game i would love to get my mind changed so all right so i'm gonna I'm going to be a stats man here for a second. When is the last time that you've seen PPD a higher level than Morph uh, than uh, RTC? He's one know. level higher right now. He's basically transitioned to the one. <laughs> He's going to pop Moonlight Shadow. There's a TP coming in, but they're not going to find anyone, at least not oh, yet. PPD went the same skill build here on Marana, too. One, two, two. There must be a reason. What the hell is this? The movement speed bonus from Leap. Cooldown. Gotta be only it, right? four seconds. You don't. Yeah, you don't grab this to like lower the mana by five and the cooldown by four. It's got to be that movement speed increase. The distance for some ledges, maybe possible. I guess you might be able to leap from like one mid river to the other mid river, but oh, fierce sandstorming the, the creeps of Mama's boys. They're gonna find him. Do they have vision? No. At least that I see. Pycat doesn't have anything, and the sports do not either. Fear doesn't know this for sure though, so he's being. Passive. Oh man, he's creating so much space. This is a bamboo move right here. Crank boost makes a big difference. Can they get the... Yeah, I think this is doing Oh, yeah. they're gonna get it. Mm. Damage. Indeed he does. And extra two intelligence. That's the first two for Weeha at the ten and a half minute mark. The funny I, thing is, even though he didn't know, know, he could have just stayed Sandstorm forever and would have been fine. I sort of think that was worth it by fear. He created a lot of space, made them run in circles. His Tranquil Boots accomplished a lot. I really like Tranks on Sanking. I think it's a great item. Let's you get away with not having blink for a lot for a long time. And they pushed bot tower, they pushed top tower, they farmed like four places in the meantime. I, I'm like absolutely sure they gained gold out of that. Well, they are up three and a half k at this early stage of the game. Pycat right now, very close to his blink dagger, and probably at that point they start turning on the aggression. In the meantime, Leech Commander about set eight eight hundred or so away from hers, and don't think she's going to be pressured anytime soon. She's so you should be able to get that in good time. Universe, though, has his blink. Has he shown this off yet? Um, probably. I mean, he's been hard. Not they're gonna smoke. Here we go with the smoke. Dink. Yeah, Fear's getting close. Man, we're gonna have quadruple blink dagger here pretty soon for each respective team. And there's the smoke. And off they go to the bottom lane. There's gonna be some TPs. 
Time from Silencer. Has the global ult to work with. Universe. It's gonna find Soxa. Oh man, into an arrow. Global Science is a little too late to save the Pugna. Poor little support guy. Does he even have boots yet? Oh, he does have boots, so that's something to be proud of, I suppose. Here comes the burst strike from Fear PPD as well, but here comes Bycat. He's gonna get Sonic Wave down into the Queen of Pain. My god, the burst damage is out of control for Sumail. Three dead in the blink of an eye. Sumail is gonna get covered by the Moonlight Shadow of PPD. And they find more. Scream of Pain online, and yeah, down goes Weeha. This is a disaster for Mama's boys. He's got his heels ready too. Ooh. They don't have burst. Right? fire, and he's gonna go down. <laughs> little too cocky. Oh. More damage going the way of Legion Commander. They're turning this around. A little bit too cocky from EG. PPD with the leap available. We'll use it just in case. The universe will TP out. A little bit of a blunder there from EG. Yeah, that was very good for them though. The overall fight was was awesome. I like the initiation. It's just a, a call and an arrow. And even if Global Silence comes out, it's just you just have to cast those two abilities and you guarantee the kill on the hero, because you're going to get a three second stun into like a four, at least three, another three second stun. Really good gank there, and really good solution to Global Silence. Does Universe go four staff next? Um, I think it's definitely possible. Yeah. Man. I just want like I wish we had like <laughs> I wish we had like a side cam of just watching RTZ this game. He is super poor. Has boots. Does it make Ring you feel better about him having like twice as much MMR as you when he's having a rough game? Uh, not really. It's funny because I hung out with him a lot at WCA. He's super nice. I, li I like that guy a lot actually. But I, I don't feel good about that. I could care less. If this was back in my early twenties. Uh, purge, then maybe I would care. I'd be a little bit more competitive, but I'm too old to care about that stuff anymore. Fear in the He's meantime. Ooh, yep. Do they have vision. They have sentries, but Fear's just gonna burrow strike yeah, blink close. to safety. She thought he might die there, but of course he has a blink dagger, so doesn't have do his you, ulti yet, though. Do you max press the attack, or do you leave it at? Um, at I, well, I, I, I guess definitely. I max now. it before moment of courage for sure. Yeah. Okay. The only reason he got more moment of courage is because he was laning against uh, in a one v one against a melee, and he was trading hits there. Kind of made sense. Arteezy is gonna bottle another rune here, and does he have anything on the courier? He's, he's actually just that poor. Okay, but it doesn't really matter because everybody's creating so much space for themselves. I mean, Sumail's getting out of control, like you said, has the Yules, fear with the blink dagger along with the universe, and God knows what he get. He's going Vanguard next, actually. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's a good choice. He definitely needs more HP. There's a lot of nukes coming out of Mama's Boys. Um, the overall damage is pretty right-click based, so having a Vanguard will be good. I think it's okay. Crimson Guard as a whole is very good against Mama's Boys. I don't know if he'll go all like, into Crimson, by the way, but he definitely does have a lot of squishy heroes on his team, so buying an item that's going to give them that utility of keeping Radiant's his team alive I think is a really good attack. idea. Crimson Guard does not work against Serpent Wards, correct? The uh, active ability, or correct, does it? Correct, it doesn't. It would counter it way too hard. Yeah, okay. But he has Moonlight Shadow available if they want to get a little bit aggressive here, but I think they need a third member as they're going to counter ward this Observer. It's getting close to expiring, though. Weeha, in the meantime. Ooh, look at the net worth. He is bottom four as the mid laner. That is not what you want to see. Yeah, sounds like just voice. doesn't farm that fast, really. Uh, he he needs some hero kills and some advantage from ganks and stuff. Put initiate on this, they go for like an arrow combo, but yeah, the my initial reaction to the pugna versus sand king was being I don't know. I'm pretty disappointed to be honest, because the first thing I see when I see a sand king pick is hey, pugna is like the hard counter. But well, he's not gonna get to that point. Pugna, so. Yeah, it's rough, rough life, man. Oh, he's actually maxing out Nether Ward equally with Nether West. But then again, like it doesn't seem like a Weeha hero, right? It's, well, speaking of Pugna, the Global Silence comes out. Do they find the kill anyway? He can Necro... Or, uh... uh Decrepify himself, I should say. Moonlight Shadows popped in a response. Arteezy. <laughs> Walking down mid lane. Weeha. Could actually get this kill if Moonlight Shadow was not there. But... Oh my god, Arteezy. Oh, the sentry! Oh, Arteezy. Oh, Arteezy. Morphing up to strength. Be okay. Oh, he almost cast the last word. I feel like half the game is Arteezy walking back and forth between the rooms. I mean, it's one good way to accelerate. <laughs> you, you use waveform, it pushes and kills creeps more rapidly, and then you fill up your mana with runes. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, Serpent Wards, first time we've seen those. Gonna be placed at this tier 1 tower. Arrow will not find anyone. But it looks to be a trade. Tier 1 for tier 1. Top and bottom lane. Haste. 
Dyer's top tower. What is Pycat looking for? He has the blink, obviously. 1600 gold. Let's see, is BKB worth it? Uh, it's okay. Does he go for. I mean, Mask of Madness isn't really a thing anymore. Like, what is. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, SNY is pretty SNY. common, I guess. Yeah, you go SNY over to get yourself attack speed and movement speed. Just a lot safer, especially with a lot of nukes in the game. Mask of Madness is only really useful if you have a BKB. So, and the problem with that build is that you just max out an item so fast. If you get Blink, and you get Mask of Madness, and you get BKB, that's three items, plus you have Treads, that's four. You're like already out of item slots, and you need all of those things. So, um, the Helm of the Dominator is a lot more common now. You just stack a lot with it, and uh, kill neutrals. Arteezy has a max of 503 health right now. No so, one, one last word. Come down to about 200. <laughs> Yeah, I think he did this because he gets more out of his bottle then. Yeah, I mean the bottle is super underwhelming when you have high stats. <laughs> it was like you were talking about last game, super nerfed in the last patch. I, I wonder what minute it'll be when RTZ contributes to this game, but it might be a long time. <laughs> well, he's it's not contributing. His fault. He's oh boy, Berserker's call, Universe oh, comes in. RTZ yes. better be careful. He's gonna drop to the deck. And that's more damage going the way of Legion Commander, but here comes Spirit with the Epicenter Blink combination into a Burrow Shark, but a nice ult from Pycat. They're going to clean up Fear in all likelihood. More damage going the way of Weeha in the form of Intelligence. And for one, they lose Legion Commander. Oh, RTZ contributed his opponent's gold gain. Yeah. Well, in, in a way, he's contributing this whole game by the fact that they're, they're targeting him so much, right? Yeah, true. And everybody else Definitely. is creating space for his team. In, in a way, he is the support Morphling. Weeha initiated on yet again. Sonic Wave, not really going to do too much, okay. as Pugna just sucks them dry. Nicely done. Uh, it's really the other way, blowing him. Oh, okay. Thanks, Perch. For the <laughs> sex <laughs> Well, they're going to find the Shadow Shaman. Pycat almost got the kill on Sumail, but now they're just going to kite him. Oh, Big time. Wave Pump comes in. Arteezy trying to right click. And Pycat with... Oh, okay. Random stun, but not going to do enough. And this tier one's dead. Legion Commander. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna this say. is a funny. This is a funny game, man. <laughs> There's a funny. lot of kills like that. Basically, like PVD is like, oh wow, Silencer came forward. I'm just gonna leap and hit him, and then the Legion Commander gets an easy new kill. Level four overwhelming odds is something to scoff at. It's quite yeah. powerful with all those units. PVD got a lot from that though. He's almost got a Yule Scepter. It's gonna allow him to do Yules into arrow kills. He can Yules whoever's dueling his allies. If uh, Sven goes in for an initiation, he can basically defend himself depending on regardless of global silence. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a really big thing to have for a support. And we're seeing signs of life from Arteezy. He is middle of the pack in, as far as net worth is concerned, which is honestly just a miracle. I don't know how this game is gone. Has the perseverance. He's on his way back, Purge. 8k MMR looking to prevail versus the 8.3 and what did you say uh, Soxa was? 8.2? Something like that? that was Pretty damn high. Oh, we have the Yules by Sumail. And speaking of Stashka, just drops to the deck. Yeah. My friend can only do so much. Soxa. Kakshka. Kakshka. Shushka. I mean, last captain's draft, I called dirty or <laughs> I called detail raw, uh, dirty raw the whole time. So maybe the first or last time, guys. Bye, cat. Only a double stack here. Don't think he wants to hold up to this. No way. And Morphling on his he way it. to Lincoln's. I think no, he wants to stack I, a little bit more. I got some sin. Doesn't farm that much since he got his helm, I guess. Probably busy fighting or something. And there's the Crimson Guard, so now the survivability of EGs can be pretty high. And also, you damage block cleave, by the way. It's another really cool thing. Um, one of the few ways to reduce cleave damage is damage block. So if he uses the Crimson Guard and Sven rolls up and does like 200 damage cleave, you can block 50 of that with the Crimson Guard. It's actually kind of a cool Sven counter. At least in the mid game. Once you start critting for 300, who cares if you can block 50? Indeed. Well, mass CPs out there for Mama's Boys. Did not want to stick around in the EG jungle. EPD showing off. His Yules, and we'll just TP out to safety. Oh, and he broke smoke. That was Does the, he know the he unintentional OP play. I don't think he did. Well, Shadow unless, Shaman's unless still there. He's good. Spotted him. This Observer might have spotted the smoke. But... Can you, uh, for Morphling, can you morph when you're sheeped? Can you start casting uh, it if you're no. sheeped? So, the Blink Dagger is going to be pretty huge on Shadow Shaman. That's the one way they can... I mean, not that they have to worry about <laughs> Morphling yet, but at a certain point, Only, only silences prevent it, though. Dying Sheep covers his sounds, basically. Um, I think stuns you can still morph. Yeah, stuns Dying's you can morph. Tower has well, 
Bottom tower taken out with ease. No contestion there from Mama's boys. And Arteezy about to get his ultimate orb, so getting very close to Lincoln Sphere now. That'll be super nice. Cannot get dueled unless something takes it off. Although, I mean, Shadow Shaman, that's kind of what he's built for, to, to use up Lincoln Spheres. Yeah, that's true. Um, he doesn't quite have Blink yet, but once he gets it, he can definitely deal with the Morphling. Nether Ward is on the ground. And but Arcane Rune on so if they fight, they'd have a lower global cooldown. That'd be nice. Oh, Universe jumps in on poor Pugna. Owie, owie. That is just disgusting. Oh, Sumail taking some big right clicks. Yules is popped. Sumail will fall regardless. Global Silence is activated as well. PPD, again, counteracts that Moonlight Shadow. Meanwhile, mid lane, Arteezy was initiated on, but Huiha was really the bait. A little fight there. Uh, big double kill for EG. They did lose Queen of Pain, um, but got another kill in the mid lane. It's pretty good if I catch chasing. He wants it. They get he wants it this. real good. Pretty good FP. Pretty high HP. It'd be a little hard to burst down. And Fear is going towards uh, the Aghanim Scepter, which is redonkulous, if I do say so myself. I think it's a really good choice from a support aspect. Just really long burrow strike range. It's really nice. All right, Pie Cat. I, I feel like his money is missing, actually. As secret shop, fear. They have no vision for him. He's doing perfectly fine. Wait for him in. Yapsor taking quite a bit of damage. Arteezy, though, right, taking damage does. in turn. He's morphing up, though. He's going to live through this, it looks like. He replicates out. They do find Axe, though. So in the end, one for one as fear attempting to run away. Blink Dagger continually getting canceled. Burrow Strike is not there in time. Okay. So two for one. Mama's boys showing signs of life. Going quite well. The, the Nether Ward did a lot there. It was a little bit of a bad call for Fear to go in. He did catch two heroes together, but the Axe follow-up just wasn't there. He was a little too far away. So, if they would have gotten the follow-up, it would have been a great fight for EG, but it wasn't. So, a bit of a bad call for Fear to start the fight like that, and it gives Mama's boys some advantage. Lincoln Sphere completed on Arteezy. As this Tier 1 tower, do they want to defend it? Arrow does connect on Weeha, but the Nether Blast is just going to continually do damage to this tier 1. And looking for the deny. Gets an adapted strike Radiant's off, but no avail. Oh, Pycat jumps in. PPD is the target of choice. Global Silence activated. This could be a huge waste for Mama's boys. They're actually retreating now. Oh, Nether Ward died too. They can chase this. Oh boy, PPD. Yules into Arrow. Will actually not connect, but Weeha's dead regardless. Silence! All right, that's that's pretty good. Morphling now is very close to the top farmers on Mama's boys. Yeah, that's he's pretty back. Scary. He's back in the game. But with global silence, then I think they just push down mid, or at least take some towers. Decent plan for even Roche. Even Roche is available. Another another ward being taken out. How much gold does that give? Like eighty gold, hundred gold? I think it's something like that. Uh, I think like eighty. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Yeah, this tier two tower is gonna be a target of choice for EG and. Don't think any defense will come. They even got an illusion rune. It's really good for Morphling. His illusions are always very strong. It's a lot of last hit as well, so 1400 gold for him now. I assume he'll go E Blade next. It'll be really nice with us uh, against the Sven and Allegiant Commander. You can always just make somebody ethereal. Oh, and Universe is still in the side. Oh, too. wow, yeah. That is not what Mama's Boys wants to have happen. Moonlight Gone. Shadow activated as well. Arteezy sticking around a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. He's going to get out just fine. Oh, they're kind of chasing. I mean, LC can't take off his Lincoln, so he needs assistance with that, unfortunately. But yeah, this is super impressive from Arteezy. He was getting, for lack of a better term, dumpstered early game, and now is, well, We're taking a rush, I think. Oh, doing quite well. Arteezy. Serpent Ward's place. This is a pretty risky play from Mama's Boys, but. EG's not in a great position right yeah, now. Yeah, I think they did it in a good way. They, they basically waited until EG went for Ancient Stacks and some survivability, and then they they went straight for it right away. Kind of a cool way to I do it. I got not even forced to ult for this. Are they Very know, like, surely they know they're in there, right? Yeah, they did, but I just think they chose the split push. They're not that worried about... Legion Commander takes the Aegis. Interesting. I mean, he she is the most farmed on Mama's Boys. Oh boy, Weeha. Bye bye, good sir. Actually, now that I look at it, Ben is the most farmed. 
Arteza is going to wait for him away. Universe looking for counter initiation. Of course, has that Crimson Guard to work with. Very tanky. Meanwhile, in the jungle, PPD getting caught off guard. Shackled. I could actually ult for this. Find some more. Fear with a beautiful double burrow strike. Looking for Yapsor with the Orchid of Malevolence. He will pop one way or another. And down he goes. As more initiation possibilities here. Legion Commander looking for oh, some mail. We'll get extra damage with the help of the Storm Hammer. Up to 72 extra damage. Legion Commander is the saving grace here for Mama's boys. Playing great, six one and five right now. It's having a really solid game. Getting a duel off on the Quap like that is is gonna change things big time. So good little engagements for Mama's boys. They lose two, but they get two. Pika has that 10 second BKB to work with. I thought that Shadow Shaman was going for a blink, but in fact it was an Aether Lens. So we're gonna have the extra range of Shackle and Sheep. It's pretty nice actually. The the Shackle range ends up being like a typical range ability. The the Hex range as well. It's it's I assume uh, the eight percent extra damage does not apply to serpent wars, but I'm not sure. I would you know assume about that? not. Um, but really, the bigger thing is just the cast range. The extra yeah. mana pool is also very good on this hero. He has a lot of mana, uh, high mana abilities. He's definitely gonna go blink afterwards, I think. But just having the aether lens is pretty nice. He can actually cast shackles from safe farther away and not get caught. Things like that are gonna be really nice. Arteezy. will be good to go. This is Lincoln's activated, but. I guess Pugna's decent at taking off uh, Lincoln's yeah. as well, especially if he had Ags, but I don't know if that's going to happen this game. Ags is insane for that. Well, he's actually quite far now. He's got Arcanes and Mech on Pugna. This is pretty much the old school build. Um, I think he should make an Aetherlands either way, uh, but maybe he'll go Greaves to Aetherlands. I think that would be a pretty solid build. Maybe Greaves, Graves, Ags. He's my shadow the range of life drain, basically. I'm a little bit surprised that nobody went Greaves for EG, because they oh, can just they take got... off Silence right away on themselves. I'm not looking for that as PPD wards yeah. up. None of them are really mech heroes other than Marana, and I, I really think that the, the Yule's build is a much better idea than the mech one. Are you a believer in forcing mech if there's no mech hero? Just gen I'm not talking no. about this game, but just generally speaking. You don't no. think mech is like super core? Mech, mech is really good. It all depends on what your team fight line. If you have, if you have a team fight lineup, if you're going to do five men, and yeah, a mech is pretty much needed. But playing a different style, then you don't have to have mech. And EG hasn't been playing a five man so Oh yeah, PPD. Do that Yules did. Ooh. Mech wasn't going to save him there. I mean, it, he probably would have died if he had mech. But <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. he still he still would have left away, right? But oh, well, LC in the vicinity, but PPD. PPD is just going to TP out in the trees. TZ, I'm guessing this is... Well, it could be a Manta, but I was thinking Scotty, perhaps. What, did, what, what would your choice be for our tour? It's probably going to be Scotty, uh, I would guess, because of the Sven having BKB. If he gets a Scotty, they can basically permanently kite the Sven and keep him a bit more limited. If he goes to Shotgun build, it doesn't do that much when their BKBs are up, so it'd be kind of weak right now if he got it. If he gets Scotty, though, he's just very strong and uh, can slow his opponents and, as a whole, does more damage. PPD looking to vend this tower with Fear, who now has Aghanim Scepter, by the way. Let's see how that comes to effect. Gets to, well, there you go. Comes out of nowhere. Still has the blink to get the hell out if he needs to. And this tier two oh, there, there. tower taking quite a bit of damage with those supports. In the meantime, Artur pushing bot lane. So they would love to trade tier three for tier two. Of course, coming in though, Weeha with global silence available. Morphling has the replicate. Oh, Lincoln's is popped. The stables will follow Weeha with the silence, and oh, down yeah. goes Morphling. My goodness, he dropped really fast. Universe forced to pop BKB, will be out to safety. So Mail caught with the storm hammer, and there is the duel. More damage for Legion Commander, plus 90. Dude, what a good 20 seconds for Mama's boys. That's like the two most farmed heroes on the enemy team. Super big kills. The Morphling one was pretty tough, but they, they were able to chain disable him there before uh, his Lincolns went off. I think they used maybe four staff to break it initially, or they used... Uh, uh, I, I don't I don't think he did. I don't think Pud was there. No, I'm... So my guess is he actually used Shackle, because he word, didn't I use believe. it the whole time, I don't think. I saw the hex go off. I thought it was last word, but it might be wrong. I think they did last word, and then they hexed him, and then started auto attacking him when the hex was going away. The global sounds pretty sure is what happened. Who? Oh. He, he used oh, last okay. word to break all the right. Lincolns, then the hex came, and all that time, and then afterwards they global sounds. So Arteza couldn't use more. Okay. He just died to right clicks. 
Fear pushing top lane. And that's the beauty of having Agnum Scepter. You have so many escape mechanisms now. You have Sandstorm, you have Burrow Strike, you have Blink. Yeah. Arteezy. Oh, he's gonna get ganked. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, they get it! Ooh, it was actually quite quite close, but more damage. Legion Commander, looking good. Killing him twice if it was so big. That attack speed's great. The Moonshard really helping out. Sven Moonshard's actually a great ability because, or a great item to have on the hero, over Daedalus in some cases. Catch anybody top, that'll explain it. Yep, sir. No blink dagger, so it doesn't have much catch potential, unfortunately. Going for Aghanim Scepter next, it seems. Yules? On the Shadow Shaman arrow. I don't think he's connected once on these. It was on cooldown there, so he had oh, okay. the arrow late. It wasn't completely his fault. Um, but the nice thing about the Moonshard is that the problem with Sven is that uh, your lockdown is a bit weak, only two seconds. So you basically have two seconds to hit somebody in a lot of cases. If you grab Moonshard, you're increasing the amount of times you get to hit them. Whereas if you have a Daedalus, you kind of put everything in on critting, whether or not you crit. So I like the Moonshard on Sven. I think it's a great item for damage in the mid game. When you get Moonshard, do you feel kind of sad when you have to eat it mid lane? Queen of Pain. Whoa, I feel like I'm saying this every time it's off cooldown, but more damage the way of Legion Commander, plus 126. Her damage is really good now. She's, these two people have been ganking really well. Pycat and uh, Legion Commander together is Masakare. Sorry. Masakare. Exactly. Anyway, how do you say it? Oh, thanks. Yeah, anyway, back to my point, my very important point first. Do you feel okay. sad when you have to eat your moon shard? Because I do. I very rarely will eat a moon shard. Um, really? Uh, I mean, I'll buy it like seventh item or whatever and eat it. But uh, the few times I do buy it earlier, I usually don't eat it that early. Oh, okay. The absolute looks in trouble. Yeah, he's dead. That's what you mean by trouble? Absolutely. Universe. Is he going Ags? I guess so. I like Ags on that. Oh, Ags. duh. He made Manta because of Silence oh, Radius. What's that? He made Manta on Morphling because of Silence. You're stupid. How are we stupid? That's the most obvious thing ever. No, he gets a but, freaking silencer. Yeah, but I said it could be Manta or Scotty. Well, all right, so I'm an idiot. I'll, I'll take this one. It's obviously, it was going to be Manta. He needs a. The problem is that Manta is not amazing for impact. Like, obviously, having a Scotty is better in the moment, but sometimes you need Manta to remove silences, basically. I it's, think it probably threw us off because he went ultimate orb first, which is not as common, obviously. Yeah, it's uh, the Manta is also just not good against Sven because he's going to kill the illusions really easily. So relying on it as a damage item is just not very strong in, in a game with a lot of AOE. All right, we have a smoke here by EG, placing an Observe Reward. Pika has 3,500 gold. Does he just go Satanic now? Does he go Daedalus? Uh, Daedalus, definitely. You wouldn't Daedalus go Satanic. Daedalus is dirty. Here. Satanic's okay because the strength that you have uh, makes your ultimate do more damage. So with God's strength, the Satanic actually gives you like an extra 50 damage. So Satanic is like a 75 damage item, which is good. But you get Daedalus and you crit, you just kind of win game. So I think mm. Daedalus is the item for sure. Oh, now we have a smoke by Mama's boys. Gonna attempt to reclaim their jungle that EG has just decimated. They've just shat all over it. Probably the best way to put it. And it pops, they know they're here. Just gonna initiate onto whom? Arrow will not connect oh, onto the Legion Commander who pops the BKB looking for PPD. He is so fast, but somehow finds the range with Duel and the Aether Shock Sacrifice. will add more damage to Legion Commander's stats. And they got the gem, so pretty big fight there for Mama's voice. Not huge in terms of gold, but getting the gem alone is gonna do a lot. Sometimes I don't understand words, range, so Purge. I really don't. That was look kinda weird. Highlight duel right now on camera, please. That's what the range is supposed to be. The range was literally quadruple that. Well, I, I think if you're casting the spell, then while the animation is going on, the person can run away. Because well, no, they I, have to... I understand how it works. I'm just saying it's it's weird to see something. Especially with like some auto attacks from... Uh, yeah, I've seen some like 900 range auto attacks from melee heroes. Those are those usually bugs due to the slow interaction. Sometimes when they're slows, it lets you auto attack farther. But, um, but yeah, sometimes there's some weird. I've died a couple times to auto attacks that were definitely outside of the range that I should have died. Oh my God, Legion Commander, double damage. Oh, disgusting. It's it's good. It only gets her 136 though. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's not. The extra damage is not considered base then, huh? So you don't get extra damage from the duel with the double damage. It's still good. It's if you if you want to really Craigasm about DD, <laughs> sorry about the memeing guys, don't mean to go there, but it's a tiny and more for like the two best Yeah, DD tiny is heroes. super sick. 
Well, can't believe I said Craig I was a monster. I'm really embarrassed right now. You should be. I don't meme. I don't know about you, Purge. Well, we've been saying thanks, Purge. That's technically a meme, right? But that one's actually super relevant to me, so it's yeah. kind of fair. I agree. Okay, you get one pass. Everybody gets one meme pass. I have yet to use mine. Piecat, ooh, blinks out just in time. Per did they see him? I'm not sure if they saw him. I guess not. They see him for me, no. Yeah, they just place the Observer Ward and PPD will run away. Uh, looks like Ag's next up for Axe. Lower cooldown on Cloven Blade. Um, and uh, bigger threshold. Oh wow. my god, Pycat Blink, what the hell just happened there? Universe is the target for Legion Commander. Don't think he has enough damage to get this. Indeed, he oh does go at the last moment in time. Arteezy already used Manta, so the silence will just decimate him. Oh, he has wait for him up now. I hear the epicenter coming in from Fear. It's completely whipped uh, until the Burrow Strike finally connects on Legion Commander. And down she goes, but that is just the Aegis. Pycat doesn't look like he's going to get the kill on Arteezy, who barely TPs out in time. And Legion and... The, the Sven, they just hit so hard, and that's two heroes, like, wailing on enemy heroes. Universe looks squishy in that fight. I, I almost think he needs to knock out eggs, and he needs to go, like, Shivas or something. Yeah, Shivas would be really good. But they're just wrecking these team fights, and again, it's Global Silence, man. How do you take fights against Global? Well, Basically, see. have to initiate and well, do they, their stunts first, they or they do have, have uh... at the start. Like they have the Yules on Quap and Murana, and then of course the Manta so, on on Morphling we'll and BKB. We'll see if gem by him. By the way, there's a gem over here on the gun. Actually, literally every single one of the heroes on EG can take off Global Silence. But then you're self yulesing and that's not always the perfect yeah. scenario. And then you lose two and a half seconds of potential initiation. And this Rax is in peril. Fortifications pop. That might be fine for Mama's boys. God strength is up though, so he's just gonna use it. Arrow will connect. On to Pycat, they better be careful as Pugna is going to be saving oh, him with that on delicious sucking off. Or just love so much. Tier 3 tower is dead. Scotty picked up by Morphling. They're going to look to reinitiate. Pycat pops the BKB and just goes for that melee rack. So fast. No problem. Trust the attack. So much attack speed for Sven here. And the duel was wasted on, on the Queen of Pain due to the new Lincolns, but it didn't matter. They still killed the, the barracks so easily. Man, looking scary for EG. If you look at the net worth, it's just plummeted. Well, it's not even just a sudden plummet. This has been over the course of maybe 10, 15 minutes. Just a gradual lead being slipped away from EG. Mama's Boy's playing quite well. Of course, you can't underestimate a Morphling. Because he scales ridiculously well. He does, and he's only I mean, three have... expensive items in. Yeah. And Sven, he... I mean, he's very strong, but potential to be kited is more than almost any yeah. other hero. Ursa probably number one on the list. Bugna. They're going to use a global silence to try to save this cuddly little guy. Will it matter? Nope. Universe dunks him into oblivion. Pycat, Yules up. Oh, this could be huge for EG. Arrow will oh, connect into the Burrow Strike, and Pycat, you are dead. He has buyback. Same with the Pugna. And EG's going to look, perhaps, to force them out. Ortiz definitely wants to go high ground, but they need creeps here. They've got a lot of push power as well, so it's looking pretty good for them. Like here, Blink Dagger is disabled. Arteezy has the Lincoln Sphere activated on himself. Unless it's the that's, second that's one. Like one. Oh, yeah. it is. Okay. He's hitting the tower. He should definitely have two Lincolns on him. I think that makes a lot of sense. Just a oh. Pugna buyback, and they're going to retreat. They didn't get much advantage from that, but they got a little. God. Oh my god, oh, fear. To get caught. Oh, oh my fear. god, that cast oh, no. range. <laughs> Oh, more damage. That was super, super risky with very little gain. I'm surprised he even went for that, but almost too cocky from... It's it's hard to catch by all means, but they, they got him there. The duel was just enough. <laughs> and so much damage on Legion, plus 180. That's like two damage items. It's incredible. Yeah. What does he go for next? He has the, ass the Assault Curious. Uh, obviously, he wants to save for um... buyback, but with like Heart, Satanic... Uh... I would almost like Legion to buy. I, he could buy MKB or Daedalus. I would really like a Daedalus actually, because he's okay. hitting for like two hundred or three hundred and seventy damage or something. If he gets a Daedalus on top of that, and he's just right clicking here, he's just gonna kill him. Like just die. He could also buy something like a Desso since he has AC, I guess. But I think it's too late to buy a Desso. You might as well go for the big items. Yeah, I don't like Desso. What do you think of Moonshard? Um. It's not a bad idea, because he does have so much damage from Duel. I think that's a pretty good choice. But I 
I don't know. He's already got such good attack speed when he presses the attack on himself. So has he been I, pressing attacking himself, or has he been using it on? Uh, uh, when he's dueling, I'm sure he does sometimes. But yeah, when they're doing high ground siege, definitely on Sven. I feel like that hero is just sometimes so awkward to initiate with because you press the attack yourself, you got to yeah. blink, you got to pop blade mill. Sometimes it's better to just save it. I mean, considering how much damage he has, he doesn't really have to press the attack on some of the targets, depending yeah, on who he goes definitely. for. If it's like Morphling or maybe Axon, yeah, but the rest of the heroes, no, he doesn't. Sumail has plate mail, so in all likelihood going for Shiva's. Could be the AC, AC, actually. We've been seeing AC quite a bit on Quap, actually. And they don't really have another AC carrier. Ax could perhaps build it, but I He's doubt it. all in on this Ax, man. He wants it. He could finish it right now, but save him for buyback, I'm sure. Yeah. There's a big Except item. On cheap. Mm. That's that's really good. Very good against a lot of the EG heroes. I feel like a Lotus Orb might be needed now for EG, but who picks it up? Marana's not going to be farmed enough to get it. I mean, just about any of them can. Really. Oh, Sumail finds Pycat. Global Silence is used to try to save him. Another Yules to keep Pycat in place. Can't blink thanks to the damage. Pops the BKB. We'll dodge the Burrow Strike oh, as a result. Look at the damage he's doing. Sumail and Arteza oh, getting God. cleaved into oblivion, but they will live. Moonlight Shadows popped in defense. It, all in all, EG probably came out on top of that. He forced the BKB, forced uh, the God Strength. Yes, it was an 8 Everybody second. They, they almost died. That was pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It seems like the Basher went the in way. first. So I was just worried. Basher on who? Uh, LC. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Then he can do Blink Abyssal. He doesn't have to necessarily duel somebody. That's that's a really good choice. Rather than going for a full carry build, utility is a bit better in this case. I, yeah. I like that choice. It's better than what I thought of. Uh, we'll be a Shivas for Sumail. <clears throat> I kind of agree with your earlier uh, sentiment with the fact that um, Universe could have gone Shivas, and then in this case, Sumail could have gone AC. But now, it doesn't look like anybody's going to be able to afford AC this game. But Ags is officially finished on Universe, so we'll see how this works out for him. Well, we can still talk about BOTs, like uh, Axe can get a BOT next and then grab an AC. Something like that might be an option. Yeah, that's true. If the game goes long enough, which has definite potential to do so. The longer this game goes, <laughs> the scarier Legion Commander gets too. Along with Morphling, he's still, like you talked about earlier, only has two and a half items right now. Well, three and a half, I guess. Here, Burrow Strikes. TP is not available for another couple seconds. He'll be okay. Unless some miracle PyCat finds him, but here's sticking Chase around begins. quite a while. Oh my. Oh my! I'm wondering if he's gonna burrow strike into PyCat accidentally. You know, they're technically looking at each other. Okay. Dream cheaters. Jesus. Wow, that was actually so close. They see him. They saw him. PyCat had vision of him. Well, burrow strike has infinite range. Let's see if he can do anything about it. Well, Sandstorm will dodge the storm hammer. Oh my oh, god, they're gonna they find him. him. Fear! Fear pops the BKB! Has oh, Blink available oh, again him. until he gets right clicked. Legion Commander looking for one more duel. He's oh, my so god, greedy, he wants live. the damage. Fear just TPs out with the Burrow Strike TP again. My god. He just created so much freaking space. So ballsy. That was that was really well done by him. If any of you guys were wondering how big Fear's balls are, well, they're ginormous, let me tell you. There's a reason he's in Group <laughs> Hippo, guys. Pretty funny you say that, actually. Why? Because of that photo of him? Is he, I didn't notice he had huge testicles, though. I'll have to reinvestigate. Sorry, guys. I don't I, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't remember. Have my what? I, just, I, just couldn't, I couldn't handle the irony of you saying that casually and not realizing what you said. That, that's disrespectful. Dude. I wonder, huh? What? How's Some... that disrespectful? Because I brought up a sore subject. Is it a sore subject? I, I, I would I would be a sore subject if that was me. Yeah, really? Definitely. Yeah, oh. are you kidding? Huh. That's actually shocking Some... to hear. What? <laughs> Says the guy who shits himself and doesn't care to tell the internet. <laughs> yeah. Real shocking. Hey, I would say that's a low blow, but I actually don't care like you said. So exactly. I have nothing to say. That's why you're not a proper Well, a no, proper but it's, it's completely different. It's not like that. I feel like that photo is not like a horrible thing, is it? I didn't think that at least. Uh, that was really... my impression. God, what? You're so I don't think up, he dude. cares at all. But uh, maybe I'll ask him. I, I am sure he cares at least one percent. One percent. Yeah, I wish, I wish that that wasn't public on the internet. All right. While we yeah. talked about that, Silence just got shit on. So there's that. He doesn't have buyback. It's 70 seconds on the deck. Meanwhile, bottom jungle, radiant jungle. I should oh, say, fear again dies. More damage. You heard this story before. They got the TP back. The universe looking to initiate on this. TP is canceled. Oh, I got two. Bye, cat. 
All he can do is right click, pops the BKB, Arteezy taking quite a bit of damage, he's gonna use the replicate to get out. Universe in the meantime, Berserker's call. He has Blink available, will TP out, and should not make it, my goodness. Nice stun, bottom lane in the meantime, Sumail shackled up. Yapsor taking the right clicks, the PPD, something to fear indeed, go. but it's a one for one at the end of the day. Legion Commander. Dual Singed have duel for another 16 seconds. Tough to catch PPD, and we'll just give up. Arrow, not going to be there. A uh, bit of a weird fight. They got a gem out of it, but they lose Sumail on the Quap in exchange for support, so I think that's going to go to Mama's Boy for the edge there. They don't have any gems anymore, though, so that's kind of bad, but there's not a lot of wards on the map. There's been a lot of gems moving around, so... No, that was a 3,000 gold swing for Mama's Boys, actually. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous. EG did get a little bit of a lead back in the last few minutes, but that essentially that fight there is back to even, technically speaking, as far as the net worth is concerned. Uh, the big, I was going to say, the big question mark is when is Roshan spawn, and he is up and running, and this is going to be a freebie. That's with cheese as yep. well. Who picks it up, though? Sven can't really drop unless he wants to eat a moon shard. I don't know if that's worth it. Maybe it is. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe you eat the moon shard here and take the cheese and then Aegis on somebody else. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that. I think they're, they're waiting, waiting to kill, to kill it. Because they, yeah. they want the guy that's actually going to grab it. It's going to be Weeha. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Badly. He's got a wand and a TP scroll. Makes right, a lot well, more sense for him to grab it. Yeah, Weeha takes the Aegis. Sven took the cheese. He did eat the... I mean, I think that's fine. Because Aegis is horrible on Sven. So cheese definitely makes sense on him. And that's the only way he could do that. That's a good point. So well, Weeha grabs it. He'll be a little bit harder to kill. Um, Marchese has a butterfly now. So yeah. he's going the full... This is like the old school Morphling build. All agility. Makes your illusions really strong. He's got a DD in it right now also. Do you still like go 500. Ethereal after this? I mean, usually um, when we see the shotgun build, it's earlier. But is it... There's a still... I feel like you have to. That? Like, why would you pass it up, you know? It's, like, so good. It's it's already an item that people sometimes get second, and you've got 260 agility. Like, you could actually just throw... You could do 1,000 damage. You could do, like, 1,200 damage. You could one-shot, like, just about any hero on Mama's Voice. If that's the case, he, sh he should get the Ghost Scepter pretty soon once he has buy enough for buyback as well, because against Sven, Maybe. against Legion Commander, I mean, that'd be quite helpful, I'm sure. Depends on uh, TP's. Might need the TPs. Oh, that's true. I didn't realize he didn't have boots of travel yet. That's another thing to think about as well. I, mean, I think the later this... It's actually really tough to call, but the later this game goes, Morphling becomes the hardest carry overall. But Legion Commander is super scary, obvious for obvious reasons, along yeah. with Sven. The only problem with Legion's build is that he has to rely on a Blink and a BKB, and that's two items that aren't very good for carry potential. Mm -hmm. Whereas Morphling just has like 6,000 gold items. So despite the net worths being vaguely close, Vaguely. Uh, yep. I said it wrong there. I know. I, I felt that one coming. Um, <laughs> just, despite despite their their net worth being somewhat close, uh, Morphling's items are all extremely good carry items. Whereas Legion has to rely on Blade Mail, Blink Dagger, BKB, all these items that don't help him in the late game. We have a four man smoke from Mama's Boys as the remaining member, which is Weeha's, dedicated to defend this bottom lane. And oh man, they actually might find some mail, even though he's deep in the bowels of the trees here. Will the smoke get popped? Oh my god, it does. It did. They Legion Commander they knows. Said. Doesn't know exactly what direction. The blink available. Has to go through Lincoln's as well, mind you. Oh man, they are so close. One tree is literally in the way of. Finding this poor Sumail who gets Moonlight Shadow now. I don't even think he realizes that they're yeah. there. That's the crazy part. Yeah. That was so close to yeah. disaster. <laughs> man, oh man. Top lane though. The push though. commences. Arteezy, Blink is popped. Immediately replicates that. But look at the damage from his illusions. Jesus, man. It's okay. It's not amazing. Oh, oh I hear the duel. It's on PPD. More damage. Yep. There you go. 216. Was that you said gem? Okay, yeah. Yeah, they got the gem out of that. I feel like this gem is just going back and forth, unless that's a small. Might be in somebody's stash. The second one, unless that one's really for passing for. Really good to pick it up this late, actually, because the movement speed advantage it gives you is huge. It's like 55 movement speed. People buy Yasha's just for movement speed in some cases, so mm. upgrading your boots of travel is really, really good. And he has enough for Ghost Scepter right now too. I. And buyback. Mid lane in the meantime. Oh, oh Arteezy. Nice. Yeah, takes out the creep so nobody can TP to it. Just pounding into Yapsor. Oh, he another creep into Mail. Sonic wave on the Yapsor. And that is going to be My a God. dead Shadow Shaman.
Great that was place so well G. played. Like, kept canceling. Like, he could have killed that Shadow Shaman, just prioritized TPs entirely. That was so big. Really nicely done. And Arteezy is the one that's going to be holding the gem. Is that the third gem now? Yeah, I think so. There's two for Mama's boys. So, yeah, what did you what do you think of the Ghost Scepter? Should he get that first? I mean, I think he kind of has yeah. to, right? No. I mean, see, that or Eagle Song. You grab the Eagle Song. Eagle Song so really? Super awful. I mean, it's... More damage, more attack speed, Wait, more... Wait, you're saying Ghost Scepter's super awful? No, I, I don't know why we're having this discussion. Like, if he's going to go E-Blade, he's going to go E-Blade. He gets a helmet damage. He's gonna go Satanic. I think this okay. build. Is, yeah, this makes sense. I guess. Um, he's already got tons of damage. If he buys the E Blade, it does give him nuke potential, but he might as well have something that basically gives him a free Aegis, and he's gonna have that now. And he can uh, morph even more into agility. He's currently sitting at about 32 strength for safety reasons. 2.5k HP is a ton. It'll help him out during the duels a little bit. So once he gets Satanic, he can put all the rest of his strength into agility. Moonlight Shadow. Will EG find anyone? TZ will walk right into PyCat. Do they want to prioritize? Although Legion Commander is actually invisible thanks to Arun. PyCat taking a lot of damage to RTZ. Duel is going to be on Universe. Do they have enough damage to actually get him? Here comes the epicenter combination from Fear. That is Aegis going down the tubes for Weeha. Global Silence is still up and running, but that is a dead Legion Commander, and I don't even know if it's worth using. He's going to use it right now. PyCat on the run. Has a blink available to get the hell out of dodge if he needs to. Buyback. Was that? Who bought back? Oh, that Legion Commander bought back. Can he even get here in time? Weeha. Pops the BKB. Pops the oh, cheese. The looking for as much damage as possible. But is just destroying him. One more adaptive strike takes him out. Pycat in the meantime getting completely kited in this fight. He has done literally nothing overall. One waveform should be enough to take out Pycat as well. And this fight for EG has gone super well. Yapsor doing a 1v1 battle with PPD as more buybacks come into the fray. Sven, Legion Commander trying to use the Serpent Wars to cover, but RTZ just does too much damage at this point of the game. That is a team wipe times a million, it feels like, with two buybacks. Yeah. Sven, ooh. It's, it's very clear that Morphling is one of the best late game carries, and this is this completely showed it, man. He just jumps in the fight, and his opponents can't really focus him. I, I followed him that whole fight, and he just did an insane amount of damage. Let's look at the fight recap. Did 6.8k damage in that ooh. fight, and that was basically just auto attacks. Just that was so a much 10... CPS. Thousand cold swing, wow! Yeah, he's that he's here, man. He's farmed. It's it's time to party. He still can get a moon shard, <laughs> but he's got basically like six of some of the most expensive. Can you say that again? Game. I need I need you to hear that again. It's time to party. Yeah. Just doesn't sound like a typical purge quote. Is all. Yeah, Nobody needs to tweet that. Sure purge 2016. That. It's time to party, guys. And Morphling feels pretty damn safe overall. Legion Commander, they know he doesn't have buyback. RTZ. Oh, the counter initiation's there from Universe. We do have a buyback this time by Pugna, but my god, Weeha gets destroyed. Universe takes a beating from PyCat, though. BKB popped by him, but again, the kiting is oh! real. The double kill! Literally two-shot RTZ getting too cocky. That so unfair. He buys back. He's gonna yep. TP back into the fray. PyCat's ult's not gonna last too much longer. And again, he can get kited. Orchid it up. And RTZ so just finishes there. off the Satanic. Has no buyback, of course. Just used it. Dumail pretty low. Fear with a long-ass Burl Strike. Thanks to the Agnum Scepter. Yapsor getting healed by Soxa. Sonic Wave getting them both low. Yapsor might actually fall to the Shadow Strike and Caustic Finale combination. But nope. Looks to survive as mid racks getting pounded upon again. RTZ fortification pop by Mama's Boys. Wanted to say Monkey Boys again. And this is going to be only, a free rack. The only reason that Arteezy died there is because he made an illusion of the Sven. So Sven hit the illusion that cleaves us pure damage. <laughs> really? And then he double hit. Like, if he was hitting Morphling directly, it wouldn't have done 1400 damage a hit. But because yeah. he was hitting somebody else, the cleave damage did just about that much. It did like 800, 900 a, a cleave. It was That's amazing. That's pretty insane. So it's kind of a mistake from, from Arteezy, but it was well played by PyCat to abuse that cleave. Yeah, and even though they can probably finish this game. EG is probably going to play it quite safe. They need to wait for buyback yeah. and morphing. They don't want to make any huge mistakes like that again. My water's right. And he has 2,700 gold. Of course, buyback is not going to be available for another six minutes. In that mean, in the meantime, he could probably farm with that Moonshard that you were talking about. Yeah. Dude, Arteezy has come so far this game, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Literally the worst start to one of the hardest morphling carries we've seen he, he, in a while. He was like roaming level 3 when everyone else in the game is like level 5. He's like, oh, I'm going to go gank guys, you know? He, he, he just caught up. He farmed all game. He's got 585 CS. Like, I'm going to definitely watch this replay. Like, it's incredible how much he came back. Oh, he actually goes boots of travel upgrade. Uh, but speaking of bad start, Weeha hasn't really recovered that much. I mean, he's, he has obviously has some items now, but we're talking about 56 minutes in, 20 intelligence, which is 
virtually nothing for a carry yeah. uh, or a mid silencer, I should say. I mean, a silencer can't farm as fast, and he's easier to kill. It's 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 hard to hard to contribute as much. He gets initiated on by like battle cry into arrow every time, and he just doesn't have the survival survivability to make up for that. His team's lacking disables in some ways. They're very good at dueling and doing spend damage, but they just need like a ravage or something. They need some AOE disable to let to give them a couple seconds to do damage. Oh, moonlight shadow! Looks like EG actually wants to do something. Uh, Roshan is going to be up in 30 seconds. I can dice. Ooh, Burrow strike in. He's taking so much damage. Sonic Wave. Global oh, Science is there. Soxa healing him up. Universe is forced out. BKB's popped galore. Everybody's a golden monkey these days. It looks like Samail to be the target of a choice for Legion Command. Doesn't get his duel up in time. We've seen Epicenter coming to the on three heroes into oh, a Sonic Wave. The damage is out of control for EG, and this looks to be it. Oh, Legion oh. Commander loses the duel. Arteezy takes 18 extra damage as if he needed it. Pycat. Trying for a last ditch effort, but he gets kited to a high degree, and GG's come out. EG win 2 0 in this first group stage match. My right. god, what a game. That, the Mama's Boys fight looked so good at the start, but they couldn't duel the, the Queen of Pain. She had a Lincoln, so he's standing there. He's like, God, I'd really like to duel you, but I know you have a Lincoln. This isn't going to do anything. And they had no way to stop those Lincolns when the BKB is also up. So if they would have dueled the Co op, they maybe could have won that fight, but a great epicenter. From fear, turns things around once the BKBs are gone and the, the Queen of Pain ulti cleans up. So, really nicely played by EG. Really hard game at the start for Arteezy, but somehow he became the most farmed hero on the map. And that is just a true showing of an AK 